Hand reading in Mahjong means to identify the most likely hands your opponent is developing. During the pick and discard phase of the game, this is done by observing exposures and discards. The intel gathered can be used to help you make decisions on the development of your own hand. It can also help you play more defensively as the game progresses. In this video, we're going to practice hand reading. We just joined a table at Mahjong time and we are in spectate mode. This is a feature at Mahjong time and we can use it to practice hand reading. You can see that the tiles in front of us are blank, so we won't get to see anybody's hand. We're gonna practice hand reading by looking at discards and exposures alone. So they're doing the optional cross right now. We do see east and west passing short, one tile each. So it'll be interesting to see how close they are. East will discard and we'll get started. Eight oh, dot. Let me go full screen. So we have an eight dot as the first eight discard. Characters. Eights are going to be, here's a hesitation on the eight crack. Big hesitation. Second tile out. All right, that'll be Six interesting. Bamboos. It took them a little time to decide. So we have six, eight. Eight characters. The first five rounds of discards are usually Seven whittled, or they're usually Six useless characters. tiles from the Charleston. Maybe the first three or four, four discards. Characters. So here we have a lot of evens and a one odd. West so wind. we are in the third round right now. Six bamboos. Anybody playing evens is going to have a hard time because there's four, four sixes and eights out. There's pung. hesitation on the four. Okay, our first exposure, four bam, pung. What's interesting one here down. is there's a four crack in front of this player and a one. So with a one and a four out, and a four bam pump. Characters. Hmm. I'm thinking they're playing evens. And if Two that's the characters. case, they're going to have a bit of a hard time. Two characters. We'll see. Usually we North need wind. two exposures to confirm what they're playing. But with one exposure and discards in front of them, you can maybe figure out what category they're Three focused characters. on. So I'm thinking they're not playing consecutive West run win. right now. They have a one and a four in front of them. They threw away a north. Flower. Okay, so they discarded a flower, which is interesting in the early game. That means they're, they're not playing a flower hand. Okay, now let's look at the rest of these players. Two dots. So the player on our left, I bet you is playing an odd Six hand. Characters. Odds or maybe East Wind. Little odds. They could be doing little odds. Let's see here. Let's just say odds in general or like numbers. Flower. Like numbers is kind of a gotcha. It's really challenging to figure out if someone's playing East like numbers, wind. especially if there's no exposures. Across from us, they have six, seven, eight. <coughs> bamboo six seven eight so they're probably playing little Wine numbers dragon. little numbers or odds across from Five us bamboos now in front of us they have a lot of evens so they could be playing they have two three here Red dragon they could be playing odds in front of us too if that's the case seven we have bamboos. three players playing odds maybe little Six let's dots. see Little odds with bams and dots in front of us. They have nine a three crack characters. in front of them. Okay, here's a hesitation on the nine. Now somebody could be trying for a three, nine six, nine characters. hand, but three, six, nine is gonna be difficult because the One sixes dragon. the sixes are all down. It appears that no one's playing a year hand. Twos and white dragons are going down. 
nine bamboos, four characters, seven bamboos. So we do not see nine dots. I was just going to say we don't see any nine dots out. Who's going to take it? Okay, no one took the nine dot. So nine we have bamboos. we have nine dot nine bam nine cracks are out. Lots of One eights character. are out. Now I don't see any eight bams. I see six bams. Mahjong. We have a mahjong, and this was a player who did not pass short. We have wins. A player with wins. I'm not surprised because there were only two wins out. So we have news with ones. Okay, now let's go here. The player in front of us. Uh, let's see. I thought they were playing odds, and they are. The player to our left, I thought they were playing odds, maybe even little odds, and they are. And then the player to our right, they're playing consecutive run with little numbers. Here's our winner. So practice hand reading just by monitoring discards and exposures alone. You can do it at Mahjong time. This is the only platform where you can practice this skill. When you play the game, it's a little more difficult because you're managing your own hand while watching exposures and discards. But between games, you can practice this skill. I hope you give it a try. And if you do and it improves your game, let me know. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.